Yo, what is good everyone? Your boy Deke back again with another vid. And this one we're going to be talking Kevin Dotson. Didn't think I was going to be talking Kevin Dotson today. It's Monday around, what is it, 1 o'clock? 2 o'clock, 2 p.m. Just finished up posting a Steeler Receiver vid on the YouTube channel. And then I get some comments on YouTube, on social media accounts, saying, hey man, there's this Kevin Dotson news. What do you think about it? I first got really concerned because Kevin Dotson news, I haven't heard any Kevin Dotson news. What is it? Is he hurt? Is he out for an extended period of time? Is he out for the season? Is the offensive line going to be that much more screwed? So I was pretty concerned, but then I check YouTube, try to float around the internet, and I see there's reports out there that Steeler head coaches, not head coaches, Steeler coaches are upset with Kevin Dotson and his work ethic from the offseason that he didn't really put any work in the offseason coming into the OTAs and minicamp and that the Trey Turner visit was to signal that the left guard position wasn't locked up for Kevin Dotson even though once we released David DeCastro we signed Trey Turner, Trey Turner's a right guard, David DeCastro is a right guard but I guess Kevin Dotson's main position was right guard he flipped the left guard you probably could do that with most offensive guards but that's neither here nor there that's the story now the other side of it is though there are videos of kevin dotson working out throughout the offseason he's mentioned it in interviews that he is trained for the left side coming in he's worked out with an instagram famous trainer so kevin dotson has put some work in is it up to the steeler coaches standard or par based off this report I guess not. At the same time, I just really don't care because we're about a month away from training camp. And you could either look at this two ways. Either Kevin Dotson has put in all the work and this report is just completely BS. I don't care then. The other standpoint is this story somehow leaked for a reason to motivate Kevin Dotson. The Trey Turner visit was to motivate Kevin Dotson. Okay, maybe that's a little bit of a wake-up call, but whenever we're sitting here a month away, whenever we're sitting here two months away in the regular season and Kevin Dotson is balling out, he's the starting left guard, it's not going to matter. And I'm going to say, yeah, that story, I didn't care about it then, and now it's completely irrelevant now. That's my take on it. I th I'm siding with Kevin Dotson on this one, not saying the story's inaccurate or what degrees it's accurate or whatnot. Because dude that reported it's been doing this a long time. I'm not here to do that. It's just, I don't really care. I don't care because we're not going to care in the future at all. Kevin Dawson's going to be the starting left guard for the Steelers. If it was on FanDuel, I'd be putting 100 bucks on it right now. Maybe not 100 maybe like 20 bucks. Kind of broke right now. But yeah, I'd be $20 richer when the season came around. Only way to know if... I'm off on this is if we do randomly sign another guard closer to training camp, but I don't think that's going to be happening. Kevin Dotson's going to be fine. He's going to, I've been saying he's going to be a pro bowler. Is that a stretch or not? I don't really care. I'm hype about Kevin Dotson. He was probably one of our best offensive linemen last year. And we saw when he was in the game, the running game looked a lot better. PFF graded him good. I know a lot of people aren't fans of PFF. Neither am I, but I don't care. They gave him a good rating. We saw it with our eyes, like I said. So I don't care about the story. That's about it. Uh, there's many angles and different ways you could go about this. I'm sad I'm with Dotson on this one. I think he's going to be fine. He's going to be the starting left guard for the Steelers. And he's going to ball out this season. So that's about it. So hope you guys enjoyed. Stay chill. Let me know what you think in the comments. This was random ass story, but it is what it is. So, uh, Stay chillin'. Peace.